In this video, I'm going to go over one of the most common questions by people just starting out that don't have any equipment yet and are looking to get going as quickly as possible. And the question is, how do you DJ without a laptop? And there's actually a few different ways. The most obvious is the traditional DJ setup. So you don't need a DJ either for vinyl decks or for CD decks. You can do everything free of a laptop basically. So vinyl decks obviously you just need vinyl. Whereas with modern DDJs and CDJs, then you can just use a USB stick that has your MP3s on it and then you can mix as normal uh, as a traditional DJ without the need for a laptop. But there's a few other ways as well. So as well as the traditional setup, the extension of that is all-in-one controllers. So that is where instead of having separates like these, then everything, including your decks and your mixer is all in one unit. And again, USB stick just in there with your MP3s um, and you can get going with that. The downside of those is you obviously still need a computer at some point to put the tracks on the USB stick. So it doesn't completely remove the need for a laptop, except of course vinyl decks where you just need vinyl. There are other ways. So apps these days mean you can actually DJ from your smartphone or from your tablet. And there's every year there's better and better apps coming out that will allow you to do that. And of course, the most easy way and probably cheating and not really DJing to DJ without a laptop is to use Spotify. That now has DJ mode, which will just blend the beginnings and ends of tracks so that it's a seamless mix and you just curate your playlist basically. But I mean, although they call it DJ mode, I wouldn't really say that that's DJing at all. So either decks or apps are the way to go. And there are benefits to DJing without a screen. It does completely remove a point of focus, as you will often find DJs are looking at the screen. It can also do some of the work for you, but it just creates kind of a bit of a barrier really between the DJ and the audience, especially if they have their laptop in front of them. Like This is not a good idea because there's actually a physical barrier then between the audience and the DJ. What is a better idea is to have it off to the side so that you're not blocking that, that view basically, or that exchange of energy. And the other thing is it's just a lot more natural to DJ without a screen. You tend to feel the music a lot more. You can get into the groove a lot more and it can actually make your DJ sets flow better because you're really just listening to the music and doing your beat matching by ear and it just adds a lot more of your own style and your own touch uh, than quite often with software. It can be kind of a, almost a paint by numbers thing. You know, the software can analyze your tracks for you and tell you which tracks blend better together. And then the software can also sync things for you. So it takes some of the, the actual skill out of DJing. So there are definitely benefits to not using a screen at all, not using a laptop. And those are just some of the ways you can go and find more ways and different methods to DJ without a laptop on the website. If you go to bestdjsetup.com slash no laptop, then you will find an explanation of everything I've spoken about, plus some other methods. And then there'll be links to everything as well. So that's bestdjsetup.com slash no laptop. Thanks for watching.